Answer is 54. The answer is 70. The answer is 1,600. To the first three people. Answer is four. The numbers are one, six, fourteen, seventeen, and twenty. The objective today is to calculate probability in problems in which there is replacement. And today it's going to be a jar of marbles. And you're going to have to select either one, two, sometimes three marbles in a row and determine the probability of getting those marbles. Here's example one. Instead of drawing the jar, I'm going to just put R for red, B for blue, Y for yellow, and P for pink. <clears throat> And uh, we'll have two red, six blue, ten yellow, and eight pink. We want to find the probability of selecting a blue marble and then a red marble. So how many marbles are there total? There are 26 marbles total, so the blue is 6 over 26 and then we will multiply that by the probability of getting a red except what must happen to the denominator yeah this will reduce down but we'll reduce it after we get the other one with without replacement in the objective I may have said with replacement today is without replacement yeah this would be 25 because we now only have 25 marbles in the jar and for the red there should still be two so now you can reduce the 6 over 26 and make it 3 over 13 and you can multiply straight across to get 6 over and I think that's what is that 325 yeah that should be 325 so the final answer is 6 over 325 example 2 in this example we have 3 red 9 blue 6 purple and 4 yellow we want to find the probability of selecting a red marble and then a yellow marble. How many marbles are there all together? There are 22 marbles and we have three red. So that's the probability of the first draw. But to get the complete probability of selecting a red and then a yellow, we have to put four for yellow over top of what number? 21. So multiply straight across, but you can also cancel first. Notice this. Four, if 
you cut that in half and then the 22, it might make it easier to do in your head instead of the calculator. But either way you do it, you should get uh, 6 over and then 21 times 11 is 210, 231. 6 over 231 is the final answer. Yeah, that's, this would not be completely reduced because you can take a 3 out of this and this, so that would be 2 over 77 for the final answer. This one is right. Practice 1. You have 10 red, 6 blue, 2 yellow, and 4 purple. What's the probability of drawing a purple and then a yellow? The probability of getting a purple is 4 over and we have 16 plus 6, that's 22. And then for the yellow, it is 2 over 21. You can cancel diagonally and get a 1 and 11 and come up with 4 over 231. Okay, the total here is 16 plus 6. Yet again, it's 22. And for red, it's going to be 11. And then for blue, it's going to be 5 over 21. Now, you can reduce this one to 1 half. So that would be 5 over 42. The lottery numbers are 3, 5, and 6. Example 3. In this case, we have red, blue, yellow, and purple. There's going to be 6 red, 10 blue, 10 yellow, and 4 purple. We want to find the probability of drawing a red and then another red marble. So two reds in a row. Uh, the probability for getting a red would be 6 over the total, which is 30. Now when you go to the second marble, you're going to take one marble away. If I take one marble away, I end up with 29. And what should I have up there on top of it? Should we take one away from the six in addition to taking one away from the 30? Do we still have six red to choose from? Yeah, we only have five, so we would have to put five over 29. Now, reduce this one first make it 1 over 5, so you'll get a 5 over 5 times 29 would be 145. I could have canceled there to begin with. I could have canceled 5 with 5 and just come up with 1 over 29. Example 4. We have 6 red, 12 blue, 8 yellow, and 6 purple. We want to find the probability of drawing two yellows in a row. The total amount of marbles will be 18 plus 14 is 32. And for yellow we have 8, but if we draw one and it's yellow, what do we have to multiply by? Yeah, this is an example. You thought it was a practice? Oh my gosh.
Well, if I draw a marble, I've taken one away. So it's 31 on the bottom, and then what do I have on top? 7. 8 over 32 can be reduced to 1 over 4. So we can have 7 over 4 times 31 would be 124. For red, you have 4, and then the total marbles will be 20 plus 16, so that's 36. And if I draw another red, I only have 35 marbles left and 3 red left. I can reduce, making this 1 over 9, but I can also reduce here like that. So on top, I have a 1, and on the bottom, a 105.